Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have a lot of new information to go over about the new Pokemon Snap game because a brand new trailer did just drop today revealing new Pokemon that are going to be in the game, legendary Pokemon, more aspects about the game that we didn't even know about, a lot of stuff to cover in today's video. So if you are excited for it as always, Make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 550 likes. It really does help out. Leave a comment. Is your favorite Pokemon in new Pokemon Snap? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. Keep you up to date with everything to do with Pokemon this year, especially as well. For 25th anniversary. With all of that out of the way, though, let's get into the video. And I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at this six minute long trailer. It is a big boy, a lot of juicy information in it. But unfortunately, because it is on the Japanese YouTube channel, there's a lot of problems with copyright and stuff, so I can't play it all the way through, which sucks, I know. But if you do go watch it yourself, um, you, you'll be fine. So, <laughs> yeah, it starts off with this, which says Jungle, Ocean, Desert, Forest. Has six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, that doesn't mean how many, like, areas are in the game. That just solely means, like, what number it is in the, like, uh, checkpoint kind of contents of the book. Uh, I don't know how many maps are in this game. People are saying there's six. Um, I'm really not sure. But we do have jungle, ocean, forest, and desert here. So, we have that. And then on the next bit, we obviously have 10, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. I, I'm guessing this is just the Pokemon's names. I didn't know that Beautifly was called Age Hunt. But I know that Sobble is Messon. I know that Eve Eevee is Evoy or whatever. We've got Swan as English name there, though, Dedenne. So I don't really know. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's just the contents of the book. But these are some of the Pokemon that you can find in new Pokemon Snap. And then obviously we have 18, which is the story. 19, which is Koi King, which is Magikarp. And then obviously number 20, which is Tyranitar. Anyway, we then have the trailer starting off with uh, the Professor, who a lot of people are thinking uh, was the main character in the original Pokemon Snap. And then we have another one of the main characters, uh, this girl. I can't really remember her name for the life of me, but I know she's quite an important character. Uh, and then obviously we have a Lycanroc up here, just a bunch of different pictures that they like talk to you about. Um, we obviously have like, uh, I cannot remember their name, Shiftry and... Pangora's pre-evolution, don't remember. Uh, but yeah, we've got like different shots of the different Pokemon. Really, really cool. Uh, it's, it goes through like a, a proper informative uh, video about like the actual game and what the you can kind of expect and stuff. But anyway, this is obviously what you're in the whole time in New Pokemon Snap. You're in this kind of like machine thing which can go underwater. All that stuff, it can go in the air, anything like that. You can bloody go on a great adventure. So I'm guessing this is maybe one of the first areas, which is the forest. Uh, as you can see, there are um, a lot of trees, which is usually what's in a forest. <laughs> but then we have Apron running there. So I think it just drops you straight into it and, and you have to properly be on guard. Like you can't really stop looking for a moment because you're going to miss a Pokemon. Like these Aprons just run across this branch like, like that. They're gone. Like, and if, if you don't get that shot, you have to play the whole map again just to get back to it. It's not like... Um, you can rewind the track. Maybe you can in this game. I don't think you can. You couldn't in the original. Yeah, you can't rewind. So you literally have to take the shot. Otherwise, you, you, you're screwed uh, and you're missing. Next up, we've got Welmer who looks to be eating this coral, I think. I don't really know what he's doing. He, he's looking like a hungry boy, though. Uh, and then anyway, we go back to the professor. I'm guessing this is like the evaluation screen where they just talk to you about like how good you've done, where they evaluate your pictures and stuff. And then we're going underwater on this level. And this is, I'm guessing, the area where Lugia is because there is a separate video, which is this video. Uh, this was just like another Japanese commercial, uh, which basically just, as you can see, shows Lugia just swimming through the ocean, just having a great time. So Lugia is in this game. Celebi in this, is in this game. Would not be surprised to see Ho-Oh in this game. So quite a few Generation 2, like, legendary mythical Pokemon. And then it just kind of goes to, like, Venusaur jumping in the ocean and stuff. And then Apom and a Bounce Wheat and an Onyx and... And all this. So, uh, yeah, this was just a little commercial, really. It was nothing crazy. But it does actually reveal Lugia, so it actually kind of is crazy. But, yeah, Lugia is not seen in the actual trailer. It's just in that random advert. Anyway, we're underwater still. We're swimming. We're having a great time. Uh, there's a beautiful fly over here. Slacking is there. Again, this is where you have to, like, throw stuff at them to get their attention, to get them to turn around so you can take pictures. Like, if you take a picture of the back of Slacking, like, it's going to reveal... It's going to be, like, Slacking in your Pokedex thing. But it's going to be such a bad picture because it's literally not facing you or anything. Like, you have to go out of your way to get, like, good shots and stuff. Uh, we have a Dedenne there who's obviously munching on this apple. Having a great time. Loving it. Mm, beautiful. Exquisite. We have uh, a Deerling and its evolution uh, source book. Just 
munching on these apples as well. Like I say, you have to <laughs> look at a pheasant in the background. Like what you would do. Uh, but yeah, you have to literally just throw apples, throw different things at these Pokemon to get them to do different things to get better shots and it'll allow you to uh, get a lot more points and stuff. And then we're on to the beach uh, with Pikachu with the apple. I think we've already seen this in like a different trailer. This is a really cool bit because we literally have Ariados with Bounceweed. But Bounceweed's literally trapped in its like nest. Like they're, they're really going above and beyond because there was another video that was like released the other day which shows Magikarp just getting attacked by a Pidgeot and then also literally getting taken into the ocean by a Frillish. Like Magikarp was not having a good day at the office, but it literally just shows Pokemon in their natural habitat. Like Ariados is going to have a bloody snack on his hands here with two bounce wheat. They are not looking forward to what he's got in store for him, that's for sure. But this is what I mean. It's literally just the wild. It's just nature. It's just been Pokemon instead of like... It's just like a spider with a fly, isn't it? It's just like in munching that fly. Anyway, next up we have this Magikarp. Uh, this is literally the scene where they're just throwing loads of those kind of shiny ball thingies, Illumina orbs or whatever they're called, at the Pokemon to get them to react to it and stuff. Uh, that is something that you can do. Uh, we have a Surviper and an Octillery fighting here. Um, again, you're going to come across loads and loads of these different um, eventful encounters during your time as Pokemon Snap. We've got a Clam Pearl over there just loving life. But this is what I mean, like, you got to take a shot of them, you got to get a good shot of them, then you got to quickly go and get a good shot of Clampo, all in the time where you're moving slowly, so, yeah, you got to, you got to, well, quickly, actually, it moves quite quick, so, it, you don't have as much time as you think. Then we have the desert level, um, just shooting, like, these Illumina balls at these plants, again, trying to get some sort of reaction out of the Pokemon. We have some Morlul in the forest. Uh, this is where they're literally playing the music and stuff because there's a melody you can play to get different Pokemon to react to it. We saw that in the last trailer. Blossom was reacting to the melody and stuff, which was really, really cool. Uh, we have the desert here. We have a Pinsir. We have a Flygon shadow there as well. Pinsir just chilling underground. So again, you'd have to do something to get that out of the ground so you can get a better shot of that because that is not a very good shot Pinsir at all. Uh, and then we have this, which I don't really know what this is actually. I think it's just a forest at like maybe night or something. And then we have Eevee running straight up to the camera, loving life. Uh, we have a Venusaur jumping into the pond. We've already seen that bit. And then we have this bit as well. We see a Clauncher there. This is again underwater level as well. Um, just showing the different shots of like day and night, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, obviously different Pokemon come out at different um, times of the day. We have Chinchow here in a lantern, just loving life. You know, just having a catch in the rays. Uh, we have a Dodrio, Vion, Buffalon, uh, Garuki is over there. Again, you've got to take a lot of shots to get all these Pokemon. Uh, I think you get more points as well, the more Pokemon you get in a shot. So, yeah, if you get like a shot like this, it's going to be quite a few points, hence the number one, um, which is really cool. Uh, and then we have a bit more information about the female uh, protagonist. Because obviously, we've only really seen the male so far. So, there's a few shots of the female protagonist, which is really cool. Uh, she's taking a look at this uh, big old shiny Meganium, loving life. This trailer... Unfortunately, it doesn't go into detail about uh, whether there's going to be shiny Pokemon or not. We're still waiting for that. I, I think this is probably going to be the last trailer we get. I mean, it comes out in 21 days. So we might get an English trailer, but I don't think it's going to show anything crazy different than this. Uh, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. This is where they're literally going through all the different shots you get, um, like the star ratings and stuff. So we obviously have Apom balancing an apple there. We've got him attacking there. We've got him swinging there. you got two of them there. Um, like I say, you get different points for all these different things. So this trailer literally just goes over like loads of different um, Pokemon. And, and we obviously know about Corsola and Marini, how like Marini hunts Corsola. So you can see Corsola kind of escaping there when Marini pops up. Uh, it's just got like loads and loads of uh, things like that, which just made the game really, really good. And then Pikachu's just chilling there. Uh, we have a Dedenne just sleeping. Uh, we have more shots. Uh, obviously, you can edit your photos and stuff as this person is doing. Uh, and yeah, and, and, and there's like a leaderboard as well for like online, which uh, is something I'm going to go over a little bit in the video. So you can literally compete against other players to try and get literally the best photo. Uh, and then obviously the one with the most points wins. Uh, oh, wait, no, Luger is in this trailer. Never mind. You didn't watch all the end of it. But yeah, Luger is obviously confirmed. We obviously have Venusaur and Artbok here just doing a standoff. It's really cool. Like I say, I'm so This is the Magikarp that was taken 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 away from the Pidgeot, which I was talking about earlier on in the video. He's been swooped up. Look at his face. He does he knows what's gonna happen, and I I feel sorry for him. But yeah, that is the big trailer for new Pokemon Snap. This uh, is taken from Nintendo Life. It says the Pokemon Company releases new Pokemon Snap trailer. Uh, the Pokemon Company has released a fresh new trailer for the sequel to the Nintendo 64 Classic New Pokemon Snap, which is due out at the end of the month on 30th of April. New Pokemon Snap sees you assume the role of a budding Pokemon photographer in the Lentil region. New Pokemon Snap also includes several online features, such as being able to share photos and compete in an online ranking system. Um, so yeah, it does kind of confirm the fact that there is an online ranking system 
system. Really, really cool. Uh, I love how Glisspod's just kind of walking on the like ground as well. He just doesn't care. Um, and then as well as that, we have a little bit more information from Cerebi, basically saying, Cerebi, no. New Pokemon Snap will require a 7.1 gigabyte of space download on the Nintendo Switch for digital versions. Uh, a lot of people are saying, like, why is it so small, $60 game, stuff like that. Um, but it's because it's been, like, compressed and stuff. Which Pokemon, like, Nintendo do. Like, they compress their games. Like, the Switch compared to, like, a, a Switch game compared to, like, a PlayStation 5 game. Like, PlayStation 5 games were, like, 60, 70, 80 gig. And then Sword and Shield was, what, like, 12 gig or something like that? So, yeah, there is a huge difference. But that's just because they completely compress it. Um, but yeah, speaking about that, I probably do need to get another SD card for my Switch though because I don't have much more space. Either way though, that is going to be everything for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like down below. I'm trying to hit 550 likes. Leave a comment with your favorite Pokemon scene in the trailer or are you still waiting for it? And subscribe if you're brand new. We do daily Pokemon content on this channel. That's everything from me though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.